Hello, 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 and welcome back. So we've got a escort mission, and I'm going to come out right now and say it. I, I hate escort missions. They can be very, very easy, or they can be stupid hard, uh, because you can't really... You have no way to instruct the game to do what you want it to do. Um, we have not put anything on our mechs yet. Essentially, I'm wanting to just get missions done, and I'll probably re-outfit them when I spend, you know, 20 days traveling to a new system. And I did have to switch in Morphium and Medusa, as the other two were still fatigued. Uh, Big Slime Behemoth unfatigued fairly quickly, though, which is a little weird, but whatever. Um, this actually, I, it's one thing I do like about some of these missions that, uh, are the go pick somebody or something up. Uh, I, I, I really like the fact that you don't start right on top of your opponents. You can take a little time, you can kind of look at the map, like, what the hell is that? Is that a, like a bridge? Is that a, is that a, f is that a giant building that's buried in sand? What, I, I don't know what that is. It's so interesting, though. Um, but I could go up the ramp. Honestly, this looks like, uh, this might be a little hard to get up along here, so I guess probably along the ramp is where I'm going? Hmm. Yeah, that, that'll work. What kind of biome are we in here? I didn't even pay attention. A Martian biome. So only, uh, sink only 75%. Again, we're going to be running probably... Uh, oh... I had Morphium go first. Oh, that was... I keep I keep thinking that's my Venom, so I'm just running my Venom first because he, he spots the farthest away. Commander. I just don't know if uh, if there's a way up right over here at all. It looks like I could probably get up right along there, but I'm not I'm not wanting to test it, so we'll, uh, I await your command. we'll see. I'm hoping I can get down right there. I don't think I can. That's really gonna, really gonna hamper me a lot if I can't. I'm gonna check Big Sly first here, cause. <laughs> um, I can. I guess that might have saved me a little bit of time. Uh, we'll get we'll get again the venom going. Uh, honestly, this this is my tactics pilot, which I think gives us sensor range. We I don't know if we have it yet. Uh, and then where are we going to have to take this convoy? We want to keep everybody semi-together. We'll, uh... Looks like these two are going to be blocking a little bit. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. So the game does let you know this sometimes. This is where opponents are going to be coming right here. We know that because it's telling us right here a dropship is inbound to this location. Units here are at risk of destruction, meaning... When I jump in here, we know where the dropship's going to land now. So we don't know where we're going with everything. Uh, but we do know that uh, keeping an eye on this area, probably a decent idea. I'm thinking maybe get our overwatch set up right over here with the cicada. And maybe just kind of get everything else lined out right along there. That sounds, I mean, fairly smart, honestly. You just got to be careful when you when you move into different phases. Uh, if there's a dropship coming, because if you could see that, you just got to be careful. Oh wait, I just realized I might want to put the ultralight gyro on big slides so that I can pull off the Pharaoh's fiber, so that I can throw on that stealth because I don't have stealth on him yet. That would actually. He's not supposed to be moving a lot, but even when he just shoots and moves, uh, should be should be pretty easy stuff right there. Good to go. Roger, full speed. Um, actually, I don't think I'm really. Roger, full speed. I think I need to pull the vindicator back up. We're gonna have the venom because the venom, very very fast. I think it's got like a 275 or 250. What, what do we have in the Venom here? 
Um, whoops, go ahead and go ahead and end your turn. I think the Venom's got an absolutely huge engine on it for two. It's got a 280. Now it does have the XL engine and stuff to to really help that out, but that's that's why this thing is so fast. I mean, just look at the movement on a light mech with an engine that size. And honestly, the Venom's still got pretty decent firepower. I wouldn't say the best, but uh, pretty decent. So we need to not start the next. We have everybody kind of set in the positions I would like them. Uh, Vindicator, we're going to pull you back. Again, we, we know something's going to pop up right here. We just want to be right in their face next turn. Uh, oops. I keep forgetting when you sprint, it's not like the base game. Uh, you could still shoot, you just shoot at a pretty decent negative. Honestly, I'm not sure. We'll see how the game goes, but I, I wonder if the negative is just not completely overwhelmed in the later game with the right setups. Um, so we don't want to quite get in there yet, but we'll, we'll go ahead and move just one step closer here. Hmm, maybe I should have kept my Vindicator back a little farther. Just moved him one step so I could have had everybody with real high evasion right in here. Oh well, um, no, you're, you're going to be last. We don't want to... What's up, Fox? Nope, just actually move over here. And brace. And big sly. I'm not going to be able to get turned this turn, but that's fine. Because we're not going this turn, so we're going to get you just one step closer. Because you are a little slower. Fusion core is just too small on that uh, that Shadow Hawk. A 210 is just not going to work. I really think something like maybe even a little higher than 275 might be something we can do. We'll see. We'll see. Right, so we're going to have the height advantage. We'll be very close to where we can just move to optimal ranges very quickly. If I, Yeah, if I get one more, that would be nice so I could have like three evasion pips even when I'm just moving after shooting. If I'm just moving a short distance, that would be, that would be a lot better. So if I'm remembering this right, it's not going to happen until... They're going to have a bunch of lights. Uh, they're going to get a go before me. I'm not remembering correctly. I'm going to put a wall of steel right in front of them. <laughs> Again, I'm much more concerned about evasion than I am. I mean, those are going to be like threes no matter what I do. So something like that. All right, um, you've secured the area, and they're making their way towards the extraction point. Keep them alive. Oh, that's where the dropship's coming in. Oh, no! <laughs> My cicada's got its back. I should have realized that that was not a dropship coming in. That was a dropship. Okay. Yeah. Whatever. No big deal. Can we can we tell? 20-tonner, light, 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 vehicle, unknown mech. Uh, the Cicada's got really nothing right here, but everything's light, unfortunately. Uh, we do want, we do probably want to get our, uh, oh, what do we got here? Radiation field? Um, interferes with targeting system, but adds heat to units passing through. Plus four difficulty hit units standing in. Plus ten heat for two activation to units passing through radiation field. So basically two turns. Um, hmm. Really, you're not going to be able to get eyeballs on anything? Well, maybe you'll take a little heat off the cicada. And I can always swing back to try to get that mech. We're just going to try not to let him shoot the cicada too much in the back. Oh, it's just a power... Oh, wow, I'm glad it didn't come up and melee me in the back now that I'm thinking about it. So I'm a moron. This was an escort. We, we know we have to take them to a dropship.
What do we got here? We got a scorpion. We got a wasp. The power armor, we don't care about. Anything interesting on this? Like a really new fusion core 120? No, nothing. Uh, so we need to just basically kill everything that we can see right now. Uh, we're gonna, we're just gonna flip. What, what does the scorpion look like? I mean, we got really decent hit chances versus the power armor. I think we try to take the power armor first. No movement, just just turn. That way, if you if you turn in place, if you just click on the same square you're at and just uh, basically do a rotation, you're not going to get a, a hit penalty. Like right here, you could see targeting effects, but medium range, uh, target moved plus six. But you're seeing I'm not getting a plus one for uh, movement there. Ooh, head done. Unfortunately, if there's any good gear here, uh, I, I guess I should have mentioned we're going for uh, about a ha middle pay, middle uh, salvage here. There's a lot of salvage here, but that's a half million pay. That's about half what I need to get the uh, the barracks up and going. So, yeah, I'm not really wanting to run through the rocks and get all unstable and stuff. You know what? Let let's let's see what Behemoth can do first. Let's see what be twenty-two. Oh, you can't even shoot. Can't even get eyes on it. Okay, twenty-one. Forty-four. Confirmed. Waiting for orders. Aye, aye.
My apologies, that was a work call that I was not expecting in the afternoon. That was one that I was expecting a day and a half ago, actually, so sorry about that. Uh, just trying to play here still uh, while I was talking, not doing a very good job of it, as you can see. <laughs> um, so, let's, uh, I mean, those are some good hit chances, and that's a wasp. That's not a ton of evasion. I think we're going to try to slide my back away from their vehicle and kind of away from their other mech. That'll put it kind of in range of my heavies, too, honestly. So let's go ahead and do that. What do we got down here? Locust 1M. That shouldn't have anything on it, honestly. It's a... Uh, come on. Something? Anything? Uh, we, we beat it up really badly, but that was uh, was not as good as I was hoping. Not as Not at all. Uh, Locust 1M, I mean, two LRM5s for, for a Locust, that's not bad. Uh, really, I would drop the Fusion Core down a little bit and maybe try to fit on something else other than a medium laser on this thing. I, I really would try very hard. Maybe even drop the Fusion Core down, get like an Ultralight Gyro or something on it, and maybe like an LRM5 uh, large laser, something like that. I think that would be... Probably a better setup overall. Alright, so Behemoth, uh, you can't manage to see anything. Okay, well, uh, I mean, sh she's the best option to take out the tank. So we're going to go ahead and go for it. Now the left side is damaged, so basically if I hit it, it's dead. Minus, well, actually anywhere. That is, oh, that's only a scorpion. Okay, so where are we at now? We got, uh, I'm all confused with since I got my call here. Oh, we can get a shot on the Wasp. We are incredibly hot on the Shadowhawk, though. This thing, especially in these, these biomes here. Uh, definitely take the, we don't need the LRM. Can we, can we get a couple flamers in here? No. <sighs> no, you didn't have a good angle. You had an A angle. You had an A angle game. You seem to be very confused here. Ready for order. Uh, can you actually get eyes? No, you cannot. 20s and 30s. I don't think I'm going to really get a... Um, that's going to be about the best I can do overall. So we'll go ahead and... Ooh! Alright. Uh, it'd be nice if they did hit with some of that pepperine off the wasp. That's a... Uh, pretty weak. Pretty weak indeed. <laughs> That locust should not have come. This is what I mean by I don't I don't agree. If it was going to attack the vehicles, it should have come back maybe over here and tried to get an angle on the back side of them, if the, the AI was any good, that is. Uh, or it should have been using this as like a, a suppressing fire. This is not a close range. This is a, a fire support as light as you can get it. And it should not be in this position. Uh, unfortunately, the game doesn't really know the difference, and... Uh, we're going to take the back shot. We don't have a great shot here, and not a ton of evasion, but I think everything's pretty much dead, so I don't think we care too much. Oh, we injured the pilot when his mech blew up. <laughs> All right, you're you're uh, you're definitely my, my better hitter, so let's go ahead. This is definitely not the best biome for me, because I am running some pretty good energy boats here. So engine destroyed, gyro destroyed. Then we just pop it with the uh, plasma. I, I don't know why those vehicles are not moving. Oh, okay. Actually, I, I do know why those vehicles might not be moving. Because I've had this problem before. For whatever reason, the game, when you... Just 
Okay, that's fine. Um, sometimes when you actually uh, reserve back, what you find is that the AI uh, reserves back as well. So this is a 30 tonner. I forget if that's a light or not. Firefly, so it is light. 35 tons where it goes up to mediums. Uh, we're just actually going to go ahead and take a turn and cool off here. So we are going to be taking another lance. So if you ever get into these and you are uh, reserving, these will reserve and then sometimes not move. Just quit reserving. Even if you wait till you finish the battle. And sometimes you can almost kind of game the AI uh, by... Ooh, what do we got here? Ice. Honestly, a little bit of heat sinking. Probably not going to bother me all that much. What do we got here? Scorpion. I mean... Gyro heavy engine X. For this, we're, we just want to take it out because I don't want. Uh, I mean, the Scorpion doesn't have a ton of armor. I'm thinking maybe just. Uh, no, we're gonna try to. We're gonna try to multi-target. We're gonna go with the Scorpion, and then we're gonna go with that because we're gonna try to tag or narc the faster Firefly, and then maybe just throw a little damage at the Scorpion for now. Unfortunately, not the best hit. And we missed with both of our... Both the tag and the narc. Unfortunately, there's one vehicle sitting out there all by itself. It's in incredible danger at this point. Yeah, so this is also another thing you'll see in these missions if you're not real familiar. Once the first vehicle gets in, that's when they usually a new lance will pop. Waiting for orders. Um... 37s. I mean, 37s on a fire... F oh, wait, no, on a wasp, though. If I just get some hits, the wasp is in serious trouble. Oh, okay. So, like, three, four weapons at, like, a third, and just, uh, nowhere near the, uh... Near the averages there. Oh well. Yeah, I completely forgot that another lance will drop. I'm that phone call really threw me off. Hopefully I don't lose a vehicle for it. Especially since this APC is no longer gonna have any dodge. It's just gonna sit there till everything gets there. Standing by. Um so we may not be able to ensure everything survives. We'll we'll see. We'll see. 16s, 21s, ooh, a 64 with the heavy PPC. Just out of curiosity, how much worse is it if I sprint? A 44, but I, I need to close in, so we are going to sprint. Ooh, but, no, that's only 21. We're, we're going to take almost a 50% to kill the scorpion here. Oh, I thought that was on the way it was flying. Okay, that's good that they're attacking me. I really need to intercept this uh, this fire starter, though. I wish they would load in as they got here. That would be so much better than everything's waiting at the embark embark area, which always has kind of annoyed me. All right, so we are definitely going to try to intercept this fire starter. It seems to be ignoring other stuff. I am giving them a great back shot here, though. Mm, not great, not great, but uh, it's something. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, not you too. Well, at least it's entrenching now. Come on. Oh, game, you're you're killing me. Okay, they're shooting the one with the four evasion. That's that's better. That's better. Especially since I think this is a technical uh, wield PPC LRM. Oh yeah, it's still paper. Well, that's not paper, but uh, that's definitely not good armor. Alright, Firestarter's going to try to get a little uppity with me. We'll take care of that. Ooh! Even if it would just move around in the circle, that would be great, but it's it's not going to.
I mean, just to take the Scorpion out, is there anything else that I have really good hit chances for versus? I mean, the Firestarter, those are not bad. Um, Firestarter's probably a little more dangerous, so we'll try to do it. We're going to keep shifting around so we can get some uh, good shots here. Mm, just just a whole lot of bad attacks. So we can see that uh, the melee damage base 50, pretty dang good. I, I do actually have the better melee hand on this at this point. Uh, it doesn't look like my... That's a 74 on the wasp. So we, we are going to go for the wasp here. It's a 79, and we can narc it if we do happen to miss. It's a good chance for the tag and narc. Uh, only a leg. I mean, it's lost its evasion now, and it's it's narked, it's tagged. Uh, this thing is in serious trouble. I was hoping to uh, really. Ooh, ooh! Did you just you did you did a good thing? Not not great, but a good thing. Uh, now we have Behemoth here, who's our our good swinger. So we're gonna probably. Yeah, I think we're just going to try to hit this fire starter and just destroy it. Oh, on the leg. Oh, and then you missed the plasma lance. Come on, behemoth. Oh, well. I think we try to take the wasp out because it is down. Oh, the, uh, one of theirs got to move first. Honestly, that's not a lot of evasion on the fire. Ooh, the fire starters lost evasion. And they've still got another light to go, meaning I'll have a medium to go. So I think I saved the wasp for somebody else. Unfortunately, for the fire starter, the hit chances are very good now. We're definitely going to overheat, but that's fine. We want to uh, hopefully get a knockdown, destroy some weapon systems. There we go. Uh, I think that... I, I think that gets to go next, though. Oh, no, it did not. Okay. Okay. So I get one to uh, destroy the wasp here. I think my cicada is probably the better option. Yeah, those are those are good hits. Well, hopefully destroy the wasp. I guess I should say. Oh, how many pilot injuries? I wish there was a way to. See. Oh, wounds one. Okay. I mean, if I hit with a couple there, and it's almost 50s. So that shouldn't have really any weapon systems left at this point. Go ahead and shift around. Oh, now the wasp gets up. But uh, again, still a couple small lasers, but the wasp is really out of it at this point. Unfortunately, there's not much here that I want to salvage. Anything that I want to salvage here, I don't think. Commander. Um, do you... I mean, the heavy PPC is only 50% chance still. But that's a kill if I hit. Hmm... I think we come take out the vehicle over here. Roger that. that will give me the Phoenix Hawk and the uh, Venom to still try to de take out the uh, the downed fire starter there. Oh, never mind. Uh, good job. So the. Hmm, do we go for the wasp? Oops, you're the wrong mech. You are the wrong mech. Um, hmm.
I mean, we take it head on and we just, we go for a broke here. We just absolutely just light this thing up. Ooh, I don't need the LRM-10s. Those are pretty, pretty poor, terrible hit chances, so I guess we don't need everything. Okay, so... The question is, do I try to take the Firefly 4C? I don't know if I can get good flanks anytime soon with the Cicada. What, what did you have on you again? Let's let's take a peek at that. I mean, oh, a Gyro Heavy is something I don't want, but the Medium Pulse, yeah. Do you, you usually have like ECM, don't you? Uh, da, 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 doesn't look like it. Honestly, I wish there was a place where I could just see the the other systems it has written on there. Because that stuff's kind of important, honestly. <laughs> um, so, yeah, let's uh, let's try to cool down a little bit. We'll, uh, where's the back shot? There's the back shot. Well, I mean, the front's really, honestly, the better spot, but whatever. Uh, you missed with everything. How did I get a knockdown? Okay. Whatever. No big deal. I think I, I think I do try to get the XL engine off here. The heavy gyro I don't think I can use. Ooh, structure exposed. Oh no, I... Oh, that's my Venom? Really? Okay. Seventy percent. Oh, everything's a miss there. Okay. Morphium. Uh, get on the side and start utilizing some flamers. We're gonna try to overheat this thing at least. We want to deal just as little damage as we can, but we do want to go ahead and tag an arc. The damage is almost nothing here. That's not quite a shutdown, dang it. Uh, Behemoth. Yeah, you, uh, you just stand there. Medusa, Medusa, Medusa. Yeah, I don't want to take any more damage here. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and run away. Oh, I should have just redone my face in there. Ooh, I think I get an even better side shot on that Firefly now. Oh, mech shot down, too. So we, we can avoid using our morale. 99s. So we turn off one of the lights. How much armor do we have? Oh, wow, the Firefly's got a lot on the legs. Not a lot of choice, because there's, there's actually a lot on that leg. Fortunately, we did hit the arm a fair amount, which is not something we want to do here. Oh, I should have used Vigilance to get ahead of it next turn. Mm hmm. Let's, uh, let's see what kind of hit chances we can end up with against the other leg here. 70%. I mean, we want to keep it. It's not. It's already very hot right now. Maybe we turn off a flamer and try to get, uh, yeah, something like that. that hit something good. Oh, you're not. You're not getting scared yet. I want you to go away. Wow, we almost took that leg out though. Behemoth, do you have you have you have medium lasers? Let's uh Wow, I can't get a good side shot though. Uh 
I think we try to catch these medium lasers on this other leg here. Uh, okay, that's all good. Oh, I should have done an offensive push on it. Okay, but it just did power up. Uh, let's let's reserve back. I do have to do the called shots again, though. Um, no, let's let's. I don't think we're gonna be able to overheat it, but what's what's it looking like? I mean, there's almost no damage to this side, so. How much is left on that leg, actually? 18? We flip off one more medium. And if it falls, unfortunately, that's a problem. Because now hitting the other leg is really hard. we got to let it stand back up at this point. So just go ahead and take a bow. Hmm. I mean, I, I don't understand, even with your positioning, when they're prone, hitting the legs is, like, really hard. So, will 24 damage really go internal? It will not. So, we're going to take one shot with a... No, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. Just, uh, everybody needs to just brace. I just need to save as much armor on that, that upper side right there, so I'm hoping I can do it with all the flamers and everything. So it's going to stand up. It'll be able to move a little bit. It is legged, so it's not going to get away too much. Okay, entrenched. That's actually good for me. Less damage to its, uh, its side. It did shut down again, too. Okay, it did not ammo explode. Uh, which leg? You still have your right leg, so I need to come to this side. You have 25 left. That will hopefully do it. Okay, did we not punch through and hopefully hurt the, uh... The extra large engine, I hope. I hope, I hope. I guess we'll find out. So everything's done. Goodbye, mission. We love you. We miss you. Mission successful. Well, I mean, that was nice that there was one Firefly at the end there, because I'm like, this actually has stuff I need. Because everything else, I'm just like, mm, I don't need any of this. Because I didn't. And I only took two, and I was kind of like, man, I kind of wish I'd went for full money and got like three quarters of a million dollars, but I, everything survived though, uh, pretty good payout overall, we did take a little more damage than I wanted to, eh, what are you going to do, what are you going to do, so, uh, we only get to pick two pieces, I'm going to double check, make sure there was nothing that I wanted here, SRM-2, uh, there's an, oh, an, that's anti-missile. It's like, AMS, I need that. And then I'm like, wait, no. It's at a ton and a half, I, I can't see the point in the... Okay, so this is kind of interesting. You gain entrenched from walking, but this is going to cost you more weight. But this one gives you 70 stability threshold and negative 20% stability damage taken. This is something I would almost think about throwing like an XL and then a heavy gyro on a... Uh, hunchback or something like that, and what else do we got? Was there any cool systems or anything like that? It does not appear to be the case, so... I'm wondering if I shouldn't grab another fusion core right here. I think we do. Um, just to have enough for my light mechs in case they come around. I don't know, let's double check one more time across here. 
a lot of mech pieces that I could honestly use, but uh, whatever. We'll, we'll go with the fusion core. I think that'll give me like three extra fusion cores, or maybe four now. Uh, Firestarter Wasp. Uh, got both fusion cores, so that's good. I'm probably good on fusion cores for my next group that comes up, because I do still have like a 200 in case I get a medium. Throw that on like a hunchback or something. That's what they start with anyways, or at least most of the versions I know. All right, well, I think that's uh, that's pretty much it. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Was there anything else I wanted to do? I guess we'll see momentarily, because I don't know where I'm sitting out on parts anymore. I I would think that I should have a bunch of Firefly parts. I know I went not real heavy on the salvage, but at some point in the near future, since I've had Oh, that was daggers that I mostly had. I don't think I've had as many fireflies, have I? Okay, we took something from Merrick. Um, we didn't lose anything, though. Six days. I mean, I think I've only had one that's over a week long repair, so not a big deal from battle, that is. Anyways, thanks for watching, everybody, and until next time.